Okay, Brett, uh, dominating performance tonight, major decision there at the end. Uh, okay, so you're the returning champ. Right. Do you feel the target on your back a little bit? I mean, I, yeah, I definitely feel it. I knew it was going to be there coming in. Um, like I said, it's definitely feel it. Guys are coming out. I'm getting guys' best match there. Guys are gaming. Guys are coming at me, different plans. And, you know, I definitely feel it. And guys, they want to they wanna take down the champ. Just I remember my freshman year wrestling the champ. Same type of thought. You know, I want to take him down. I want to beat him. And, you know, it's just been a few adjustments throughout the year. been having to deal with it. You know, it's one thing to know it's coming. It's another thing to feel it and actually execute with it on my back. But, you know, I've gotten a good season on my belt now. I've taken some lumps. I've been peaks and valleys. and ready to just go into the postseason here and get peaking and get rolling. And this is it. This is it for you guys. It's the last thing, right? Yeah, we got, uh, we got about half the team going Sunday to John Carroll. You going? I'm not. No, I'm done. So this is it for me until uh, regionals in two weeks. So. Okay, so the new regional process is three qualifiers. Right, top three at each Which I don't, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't like that. I don't like it either. I think that's, that's bad. That's not good. There's going to be a lot of good guys that, uh, that don't get to go to that tournament just based on regional displacement where different regions are stronger, different weights. And, and I'm just looking at our region. There's several weights off the top of my head I can think of. There's four or five guys who have been there, placed, that aren't even going to go back. So it's going to be a battle. And are you from Virginia? I am. How um, do you get to Ohio, man? Yeah, I'd tell you what, my junior year, I was just filling out any recruiting thing I could talk, fill out, talking to any coach I could get a number from or anything and just going all over the place. Went up through Pennsylvania, Cutstown, Edinburgh, Cape Town, Ohio, OU, looking at Ashland, just spread my name, just trying to get everywhere I could. And, uh, Ended up, as the process went down and narrowed the schools down, Ashton ended up being the best fit and worked out nicely for me. Well, yeah, I mean, you got an NCAA title as a sophomore, right? right. right? All right, uh, so my fellow Carver Rocket, I'm going to Carver Rocket. Yep. Luke, Lucas you Kramer, and Luke were, oh, yeah. were NCAA champs together. Were, um, yeah. Roommates and everything. Now you're the guy, though. Mm-hmm. You're the leader. You're the guy everybody looks to. What's it like being the leader? Oh, it's been fun, you know, embracing that role. Um, kind of came into it last year. You know, I had great guys like Luke and Jordan and even Bob. We had great senior captains last year to kind of learn from and observe. So it's been fun kind of this year stepping in my own role, taking things I learned from them, putting my own type of leadership ways and uh, leading this young team the best we can because that's what we are. I mean, we're, we got a lot of first and second year guys in our lineup and in our room. So it's been fun trying to take hold of the team and really guide those guys in the right direction. I look at D1 and I go there and it's like one or two dudes can win the weight. And everybody that in the weight class knows it, right? Like, mm-hmm. I don't like that. There's favorites. Yeah, There's, yeah sure. and it's like the guys go out and wrestle. They're wrestling the fan base. They're wrestling the singlet. And D2, man, it's just not mm-hmm. like that. Oh, yeah. You, was... you proved that last year, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right? Anyone yeah, can was... win when you get to the D2. I tournament. mean, there was the, the two guys ranked ahead of me in the rankings going in to, to regionals didn't even make it out. You know, I think one got hurt, and then the other one got fifth and took a loss. And then all of a sudden, I'm number one going into the nationals. And it's like, oh, well, you know, I'm here. I got to wrestle. So, but, you know, there's, they, they rank the top 12, I believe. And, you know, then there's 6 to 18 that go this year. And there's 20 guys in any weight in D2 that, if they show up that day, that they could win that national title. So it's, I love that aspect of it, that competitiveness, that, that edge that you're going to get everybody's best, and you never know, you never know who's going to be on that day. I mean, you had two of them last year. You guys had 20% of the champs. There's no doubt you could have you and somebody else or Menard. You're having, I mean, you got a right, bunch yeah. of guys who can still win. we got guys, yeah. we got and Tristan and took down a T-shirt a couple weeks ago uh, in our home duel with Notre Dame. And, you know, Menard went in Midwest. He's proved that he can go with the best. You know, like I said, I'm trying to peak and repeat. And, yeah, we got guys we're trying to bring – bring a lot of guys out of this region but like i said it's tough and we're just trying to enjoy it and peak and see what we can do all right well, good luck going into the regional you got anything else for me that's it hey thanks for the time we'll see you in cleveland all right thank you